fish that I'm holding in my hand is a prehistoric Katachama fish. Uh, it hasn't evolved in hundreds of millions of years. Uh, its battleship-like structure has protected it to the extent that it hasn't had any need for adaptation. Its head is like metal, steel, rock hard. The eyes are recessed where they're safe from predators. It looks kind of like a caiman. Um, it has spines on the fins that would damage a potential predator, but really nothing could bite through. I mean, this thing's head is incredibly hard. Uh, it, this is literally a dinosaur that we're about to eat for dinner that was caught here in the Amazon, uh, in the uh, Napo River. These scales are almost as hard as the head. You can see they're like carefully fitted together so that it has movement and it's spiky. Like I, I'm pretty sure you could slice your finger open just handling it and it's just as hard as a tank. Uh, and it has this incredible jaguar kind of pattern on the stomach. You can see the mouth is uh, like a sucker fish with almost like little miniature baleen. And the skin is so sandpaper rough like a shark that if I press my finger up, it catches on it. It's part of uh, plant medicine dietas because it is uh, believed by the shamans to empower the brain. And actually it has been analyzed and determined that there are incredibly high levels of amino acids and omega-3 acids and other thing that the brain requires to function at its maximum capacity. And so, uh, this is our dinner tonight, the entheogenic dinosaur fish of the Amazon. As an added bonus, we'll be trying dinosaur egg caviar tonight. Okay. Being that this is an armor-plated dinosaur, it wasn't possible to um, remove the scales before cooking. And it's still, like... <laughs> I mean, it's armor. They're not scales in the way that we would think of um, scales. They're, it's, it's a dinosaur. It was not possible to uh, scale the fish because it doesn't have scales. In case you thought I was kidding about the armor, it, I literally can't even break this, like, can't break this armor with my hands. Like, I'm not even kidding. Okay, there, I broke it, but it took all my strength. And there are thicker ones. So let's see what it um, tastes like. Got to be really careful. I don't want to break my teeth off. It's really good. It tastes a lot like catfish, but I've actually eaten alligator tail a few times. And uh, it, it's funny because it resembles like a reptile or a caiman very much. And it actually does taste like alligator more than fish. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Please support us on Patreon if you want to see more content like this. And we'll see you in the next video.